Welcome to the summit. I'm Joey McWilliams. Thanks for watching today. We get to visit now on this summer afternoon with Rick Squires, the head coach of the women's volleyball team at Nebraska Kearney. And coach, news from this past week is that you have signed an extension through December of 2022. So congratulations on making a 20 plus year stay with the program a little bit longer. Well, I appreciate that. I mean, uh, you know, especially given the, the times we're in, uh, you know, security of, of uh, employment these days is uh, beyond appreciated. And, you know, one of the things about UNK that uh, remains true today is uh, the first time I ever walked in this building, I was an opponent uh, from Hastings College. And I, I thought to myself, that would be a great place to coach. And, uh, you know, a few years later, I got the opportunity uh, to follow Patty Satorius uh, for a second time, which is not easy uh, in either case. But, um, but I mean, it was beyond exciting. And it's still, uh, I tell people all the time, I tell recruits that it never gets old walking down into the Health and Sports Center for a volleyball match. It's just a special place. So I couldn't be happier to know that uh, uh, the, the next few years, uh, I'm going to be a part of uh, Loper Volleyball. It's been a great run and look forward to hopefully a bright future. Well, I think you said it best right there. A great run. 675 wins in your tenure, and that includes 21 consecutive NCAA tournament appearances. This last one, a, a run to the to the national championship match coming up just a little bit short there. But again, 675, 21 straight years, 16 conference championships, 11 tournament championships. Uh, I, I, again, can't say it any better. That's been a great run, Coach. Well, I mean – there was a reason I wanted to be the coach here is, you know, it, it's a great place. You can recruit to UNK. It's a wonderful community. And uh, it, it's absolutely a place that loves volleyball. And um, so, you know, when you're trying to attract top quality athletes, which is ultimately what it's all about. I mean, when, when we can put student athletes on the floor who are as talented or more talented than our opponents, then we have a chance to be successful. So, um, all of those components uh, are here. Uh, we've been supported by our administration. Um, another thing I tell recruits is that volleyball is a major sport here. We're, we're not shuffled down below a bunch of other sports. Um, we, we have a championship facility, um, championship support, a great community, and uh, you know, we've been able to attract just some outstanding student athletes and, you know, in a volleyball crazy state like Nebraska. And uh, I've had a lot of assistants over the years that have been fantastic for me. Um, a number of them have gone on to become head coaches. And so, um, you know, it's it's what I hoped it would be uh, when, when you're, you know, and I came from a great place. Hastings College is a wonderful program, great school. Um, so, I had it pretty good before I got here, but uh, before I got here, I thought it would be great. And now that I'm here, uh, I was right. <laughs> We're speaking now with Rick Squires from Nebraska Kearney here on the summit. And I encourage you to like and share this video. And please do subscribe to the YouTube channel, Midwest Sports Net. Coach, we recently had a feature on NebraskaSports.net talking about the winningest program volleyball college volleyball program in the state of nebraska and that of course was unk and with 321 wins 38 losses 90.2 winning percentage for the decade of the 2010s that's really incredible but to be able to say you know the winningest program of the decade in the state you you said it nebraska is a, a volleyball crazy state and to be at the top of the list when you have eight of the 15 four-year programs in the state of Nebraska that have averaged through this decade 20 plus wins per season. That's pretty good company to keep and to be right up there at the top. Yeah. I mean, to be honest, when I saw that, um, you know, I was not aware of it, but uh, knowing that there are a lot of other very successful programs uh, in the state of Nebraska, I mean, certainly made us feel good to know that um, over the last 10 years, we've, we've won a lot and, you know, a lot of things have to go well for you to be able to do that. And, and uh, it starts with, you know, a roster full of people who uh, give us everything they have and they're very talented and they come from great high school programs. 
Um, but I, I also think one of the things that really uh, is a factor in all of that is that we have one of the best home court environments in college sports, period. So um, you can take all our home games and figure that we're going to win a very high percentage of those because this is such a difficult place for an opponent to come into. I mean, the crowds are big. It's a small area where they're right on top of you. And so, you know, you, you, you take more than half your contests right there and figure you're going to win a huge percentage of them. And then hopefully you can go out and do pretty well on the road. Uh, then I guess sometimes, uh, you know, you end up with a high percentage overall, but uh, certainly attribute a lot of it to the fact that uh, we have such a great home court. But you talked about the roster that, that you have year in and year out, and uh, the roster that's coming back for this season in, in 2020. Well, a couple of those players have the name Squires in, in Madison and Anna, so you get one more opportunity to uh, to try to make a run with them. But, you know, you, you bring back in, in, in Nottleman and Bartles and, and Schaefer, Wolf, and so many more for this 2020 season. Uh, what does it look like then for you coming up? Well, we're very excited. I mean, I, I think that uh, if nothing else, last year, you know, with the great run to the finals and, you know, in in almost every way a dream season, um, gave us a taste of the fact that, uh, you know, you can dream about a championship. And so we have a lot of players who – you know, have done everything but that. And so they would like to get another crack at it. And I think they have the confidence to believe that if we can have, you know, the kind of a regular season where you get a chance to play in the postseason again, that uh, we're one of the teams that certainly has a chance to factor into the national championship picture. So um, it's a deep group. It's an experienced group. Uh, they're still motivated. Um I think to a player, they're better than they were last year. So, you know, we, we lose, uh, obviously, a great one in Julianne Jackson. And uh, there aren't a lot of Julianne Jacksons walking around in, in Division Two, So you certainly feel that. But, um, you know, the, the type of program that uh, we hope we are is that everybody else will take on a little more responsibility and somebody will emerge. And one of the things that we told our players right after the season was Julianne Jackson wasn't Julianne Jackson going into her senior year. I mean, she was a good player, but she wasn't what she became as a senior. So we need another couple of players to do that kind of thing and emerge as great seniors. And uh, we're excited about the fact that we might have a really good team again this fall or winter or spring or whatever it is. Well, and coach, it definitely looks as though the potential to to develop into something big is there with the roster that you have. And you mentioned that we're just finding out now the MIAA has come out with news that the fall season will be delayed. And at this point, it, it is just a delay. I like the way that sounds, even though delay still it pushes things back a bit. But games aren't going to be played until at least September 28th. So that means your first game that now is on the schedule to be played will be Friday, October 2nd, as you're at home against Northwest Missouri. There's that home court advantage, the opportunity to start the year at home now. Four games that were on the schedule before that, looks like they'll be pushed to the spring, but talk about now what the season is is developing into for you, and, and again, you get that first home match in the MIAA contest. Well, obviously, no matter when you play these matches, it's always a challenge to play in the MIAA. There, you know, there's top to bottom, fantastic volleyball and, and good teams all over the place. So, you know, that hasn't changed. But I think you also throw into the mix this year, you know, the challenge of dealing with all of this and uh, dealing with the uncertainty of, you know, how's it going to work and, you know, what happens if somebody tests positive and, you know, all those questions we don't have answers to. Um, assuming that, you know, a season – does occur and it some of it's played in the fall and some of it in the spring uh, in addition to being good at playing the game and, and having a good team you're going to have to be really good at dealing with all kinds of things that you're not used to dealing with and so the one thing we probably feel best about in in being able to handle that is we do have a pretty veteran group i mean they've they've played a ton of volleyball 
they don't necessarily need the normal kind of reps that maybe a younger team would need. They, they just need to be healthy and organized and, and uh, hopefully we can give them a chance to uh, continue to, you know, do the, do the thing they love to do most and that's play volleyball. So um, it's, it's a week by week, month by month sort of a situation this year. It really is. But we're looking forward to the, the possibility of that season. So I'm excited about what's ahead. And, and again, the first opportunity Lopers fans will have to get to watch you all officially on the court will be October 2nd. But again, that'll be at home for you. And I'm sure that uh, there'll be a, a good fan base or as good as is allowed <laughs> to be able to come out and support you all. Go Trick Squire, success to you all this season. Thank you so much for taking time with us today on the summit. Appreciate you having me. Thanks again for watching, everyone. Please do like and subscribe this video, and please do uh, so share the video. Subscribe to the channel Midwest Sports Net. In the meantime, I'm Joey McWilliams. God bless you, and have a great day.